Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we dive into Redis, a blazing fast in-memory multimodal database that has transformed how we're thinking about storing and accessing data. In this video, I will guide you through setting up Redis in Docker, ensuring it's always accessible with a fixed IP address and exploring why Redis is more than just a cache. Let's get started. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you found this content helpful. It really supports the channel. So what exactly is Redis? Redis stands for Remote Dictionary Server. It's an in-memory database famous for its sub-millisecond latency. Redis was originally designed as a caching layer for high-traffic websites like Twitter, but it's involved in a multimodal database that supports strings, lists, hashes, streams and even a graph or JSON structures with additional modules. Here is the best part, Redis combines the speed of RAM with the durability of a disk storage, so you get both performance and persistence. No more squeezing your data into tables or complex JSON documents, store it like you would in your favorite programming language. Now let's jump into the setup. To get Redis running in Docker, start by pulling the official Redis image, open your terminal and run this command. This command download the latest Redis image from the Docker Hub. You should now see it in the Images tab in the Docker Desktop. Next, we'll create a Docker network with a custom subnet. This ensures that Redis will always have the same IP address even after restarts. Here's the command. This create network named Redis Network with this subnet. Now let's run the Redis container and assign it with the fixed IP address. Here is what each flag does. Name, assigning a name to container to easy reference. Net, connects the container to our custom network, Redis network. IP, assigning a fixed IP address to the container. And D, runs the container in detached mode. To verify everything is working, type docker ps. This will show running Redis container. And to confirm the IP address, use this command. Now that Redis is up and running, let's interact with it using the Redis CLI. Run the command to access the Redis shell. Here are some basic commands to get started. To set key value pair. And to retrieve the value. And there you go, Redis responds instantly, thanks to its in-memory design. Redis isn't just about speed, it also supports persistence through the snapshots and append-only files, ensuring your data survives restarts. And if you want more functionality, Redis modules are game-changer. You can use Redis Graph for complex relationships, Redis JSON for document-like structures, or even Redis Search for full-text search capabilities. Here is a more complex example, demonstrating how to connect to Redis using Python. These scripts include creating a connection pool, working with the different Redis data types, strings, hashes, lists and sets, and handling errors gracefully. I will push it into GitHub and link will be in the description. Redis is an incredibly versatile database that's easy to set up and even easier to use. Whether you're building a cache layer, a primary database, or experimenting with the advanced modules, Redis has you covered. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.